We are recording at the Destiny 2 live event. I am Luke, a.k.a. Yeti-esque. I am with my friends and clan mates, Colton Dunn and Mark McKinney from NBC Superstore. Hello. Hello. So guys, we, we saw a lot today. We played a few different things. What did we see? Uh, we saw an awesome launch of Destiny 2. You no, know, I think they really listened to a lot of people's ideas uh, on sort of um, you know, not just the gameplay of the original Destiny, but also just how the community was coming together, how people like play with clans, and I think they tried to make Destiny 2 a little bit more compatible with that social structure. Mm, I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the idea that like if we're if we're trying to do a raid and we only have five people that we can just hop on and recruit somebody that that's going to be pretty killer. Yeah, without having to use like one of those third-party sites. So um, we got to play some of the game too, right? We got to play. Uh, Strikes, PvP, and part of the campaign. What did you guys think about the strike? I like the strike. It was a Vex strike. Uh, it was. It was for me. It's mostly about the weapons and seeing the world behind it. It looks massive. It's fantastic and vertical, and those concrete Vex blocks just kind of all over the place. And there's some really neat, sort of like uh, what would you call them, slingshots that fire you mm -hmm. from island to island. Good boss. And uh, I don't. I can give it away now, right? Yeah, the, uh, the Earth Mover yeah. is a fantastic obstacle course. Really good. Yeah, you know, a lot, uh, definitely in the strike, I think most of all, you got to see how the environment really affects the gameplay. And, uh, you know, and they do a little bit of this in Destiny. Um, and there's a couple, like, areas specifically, um, you know, jumping levels, stuff like that, where it's really kind of about the environment. But I feel like in the strike, they definitely made it a big part. You know, whether the, it's the floor disappearing and you're falling through. Or it's that earth mover that's like cycling around and you've got to keep your eye on where those uh, those drill bits are but you're also trying to keep your eye on where the vex are um so yeah i really i really enjoyed the strike yeah, yeah it that was epic without being over the top what do you think yeah that was super fun the the earth mover getting to dodge that and then like run back and get a revive in for the teammate and then run forward and then i i kept dying on the part where the floor was dropping out i was I was just mistiming my double jump wrong, and I kept, oh. I kept, I kept getting smushed. I'm Dude, that's some a, vault of glass stuff right there. Yeah. You've got to be ready for that. I'm offering a hunter clinic from August 3rd to <laughs> August 21st. Uh, it's $800. <laughs> Only $800. And I will teach you how to press the button before you collide with the ground. Just click the link uh, in the, uh, uh, in the yeah. description below. <laughs> There's no link. Don't click the link. Uh, yeah, it, it really felt like it moved really quick. Like we were constantly like on the move, running and running and jumping and going to a new area and trying to get somewhere. It had a, a lot of urgency to it. Right. PVP, talk to me about PVP. I liked PVP. Um, the game type was Countdown. Pretty basic game type. Uh, one round you're trying to arm the bomb and defend it. The other round you're trying to just defend the spots and not let them get armed. And you could also win if you kill everybody on the other team. Uh, you know, I liked it. PvP is always a little tougher for me. It takes me a little, a little while to like get the, yeah. get into a groove on it. Come to an event like this, you definitely have a big mix of people who are like straight up PvP players. Uh, so you know, I think I played two PvP games. One game uh, we won and things went well. Second game didn't go so hot. <laughs> uh, I did not know that game type, uh, and it was reflected in my gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that the second game we all we were all on the same team and we got matched uh, against the who I can only assume are MLG Pro uh, elite Twitch streamers because they mopped the floor with us. Sadly, I actually looked over the uh, you could see who they were on the other. It was the Jonas brothers and their mom who lost there. <laughs> Mrs. Jonas. Yeah. She did something right raising those boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I only got to play the um, the hunter and the warlock. And I'm more of a hunter player, but it was actually really fun playing the Warlock in this one. Uh, they have that new sword super with the Warlock that was pretty dope. Um, and, uh, you know, it was fun to play. And, you know, obviously the hunter, uh, the golden gun lasts a little longer. Absolutely. Which is great. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's such a badass thing, but it's so short-lived uh, right now. So it's that's going to be fun. And uh, I, know, I did. I got to watch some of the Titan play. Didn't get to play one, but looked like it had some cool stuff too. Yeah, and I would say like I never play Warlock, but uh, I could tell that the glide function on it was a lot better. It was easier to jump, glide. It was easier to control. I like the layout, by the way, two of the selections and stuff. Oh, they have that that third. Um, yes, that third box. Uh, it's a it's on circle in the default, and either you hold it 
or you double tap it and it'll be something like a shadow step for a hunter but it'll be a shadow step where you also reload your weapon yeah and yeah. then uh, warlock for the is, warlock uh, it's is, uh, either weapons bonus or healing bonus yeah for the team for the team anybody can run through the buff so it's like a battle buff yeah, yeah. you got to get your battle buff yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I, I thought the getting more shots on the golden gun was pretty rad and like multiple fists of havoc too um, sometimes it doesn't always work out great for the person fist of havoc -ing. Um, Colden had a great gameplay clip where somebody was trying to get him, but uh, they were unsuccessful. Yeah, that's right. I was able to shoot the guy doing his fist of havoc. That's so satisfying. You know, again, what I really like about, you know, they did this with uh, Halo as well. What I think that uh, Bungie does a good job of is, you know, they like make the, they make changes that are improvements, but they don't get rid of what just works, you know, and when something yeah. works, it works. That's what I like. What I love about Destiny is that, and de obviously with Destiny 2 is, I think they tweaked some things that were like really great changes, um, but overall, it's you know it's the game. It's the game you want to play. It's the same game. Yeah, they've they've stuff that's just kind of intriguing. We're all nerds. We love fiddling with it, and now that there's sort of like a third sort of like uh, uh, ability that you can do, the way that your guns are organized, primary and secondary are gone in favor of a new sort of like uh, uh, burn based kind of thing, and the guns are, are different, but. They're kind of fun. They're going to be good to master the mortar that I tried out. I can't remember the name of it, but it had a real genuine mortar curve to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the grenade launcher. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting having the power weapons be their own separate thing, like shotguns, fusion rifles, grenade launchers, rocket launchers are all in the same class now. Right. So I feel like it's really going to kind of change um, the dynamic of the, of the game. And then we also got to play a bit of the campaign. Campaign was awesome. Um, you know, I think I feel like that was where you got a good eye, a chance to kind of see, so definitely some of the new design and the worlds that they're gonna make. You know, as you probably see, like the tower gets destroyed, and the campaign kind of picks up during that attack on the tower. And um, it's fun. You start out the tower, then you go onto a ship, and uh, it's intense. What I really liked about this is you fight alongside Zavala. Yeah, in the campaign, awesome. which is kind of cool. That's, that that's is, a fun part. That is kind of cool. That, but the world of the large ship, the second sort of territory that you're in, is awesome. I can't wait to explore it. I was running through because I was playing it, but I wanted to just turn around and touch things. Yeah, you wanted to just kind of like roll around. around. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the things that they, they talked about in the keynote, too, that, that really interests me is all the exploring that we're going to get to do in this game, like secret areas and little side quests and different things that... You can just, you know, run around the world and, and discover new, new things to play and new uh, activities. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. it was really fun. It sounds like there's going to be characters that, that approach you when you're in like the Badlands or something. You go, I knew you from Detroit. Do you want to come and have some ale? And then something fun will happen. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait Man, for that. I'm guessing. That's yeah. a guess. That's a great guess, though. I think yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah. So, um, are you guys going to be? Are you guys going to play the beta? Definitely going to play yeah. the beta. Definitely going to play yeah. the beta. Yeah. I think that about wraps it up. Colton, Mark, thank you very much. Thank you, and remember to uh, watch Superstore this fall on Tuesdays now on NBC. <laughs> very exciting. It's not getting up from that. Zabala, we're good. Well done.